Hello and welcome to ATP Report. I am Annie Cyrus. I'm coming to you today uh, with so much or so many different emotions running through me. Um, so bear with me as I try to get through this. Um, you know, sometimes you feel like it just won't get any scarier or more terrifying or disturbing than it, it, it could be. But yesterday it did. For me, uh, for I would say every single American out there. Let me get to it. If you haven't heard yet, <sighs> yesterday, a group of four people were indicted in America, in an American court, for plotting a kidnapping of an Iranian dissident. Masi Ali Nejad. She is an Iranian American. Very important note here. She's an American citizen. Okay? Let's very quickly look into this. So Masi Ali Nejad has been a very, very outspoken person in media. He's a, she's a journalist and she has been speaking out against Islamic Republic of Iran's regime's behavior and she has been trying to hold them accountable. Based on all the evidence out now, four people, four men, Ali Farahani, Mahmoud Khazain, Kia Sadari, and Amir Nuri have been indicted and looks like they have been planning this kidnapping since 2018. All four of them live in Iran. All four of them work for Islamic Republic of Iran's regime. Farahani is the head of the network. It's a network. Farahani is the head of the network. You know what kind of network it is? You guessed it. It's the kind of network, the mafia, the gang that go and kidnap Iranians who are speaking out against the regime in any shape or form and then drag them back to Iran to stand trial. The latest victim of this mafia was Nuro Lazam, who they ended up executing him. He was hung back in fe February of 2021. Now, this is a scary, especially for people like me. I'm so very grateful that Messi is safe, at least for now. But I can't even imagine how she's feeling right now. But let me tell you where this gets even more scary. Number one, the very first question I have. How is it that four Iranian operatives find their way to America, operate in details from surveillance of her house, her neighborhood, her family members. They put together a plot and we're all just... <whistles> Who? This could possibly go back to, you know, why we need a little bit of a closed borders and a better system of letting people in. That's just a biased personal opinion of mine. But here is where the second part of interesting fact comes in. So there's a fifth person involved named Nilufar Bahadurifar. She's an Iranian who lives in America, in California. Guess what? She's the one who provided the money. She supported this network who is planning to kidnap an American citizen she provided financial support. Let me take you back to your lovely, moderate, nice neighbor. I guess you never know who they are. Now, all of these, some of you could say, well, you know, it's Iran. We all know their regime is crooked and they have murderers for president. But here's where it gets so disturbing that I don't know which side makes me sick to my stomach more as an Iranian or as an American. Just in case if you didn't know, the same day these four Iranians were indict indicted for trying to kidnap an American citizen, 
Biden administration, the same day, Biden administration waived certain sanctions on Iran's oil transfer. I'm going to read this part for you and I'm going to let you see it on the screen. So the waiver signed by Secretary of State Antony Blinken allows the transfer of Iranian funds and restricted accounts to exporters in Japan and the Republic of Korea. According to notification sent to Congress by the State Department, the waiver allows Iranian money that had been frozen as a result of American sanctions to be freed up without violation the law, violating the law. What is happening to our nation? What is happening to our country? What is happening to our beautiful America? As I said, as an Iranian American, I, I don't know how I feel today. I'm going to be very honest with you. I haven't slept since yesterday. I can't wrap my head around the idea that motherland's regime is sending their goons to snatch people like myself. Pardon me as it's a little biased and it scares me more than maybe a random person. Take them back to Iran so they can stand trial and be killed. Or is it more disturbing that my now home, America, is ran by such ruthless people that they reward this regime. They couldn't wait for a couple of weeks to see where all this indictment goes, right? They couldn't wait to see. No, they didn't need to wait to see. They know. They know every penny all the way from dollars to billions of dollars handed to this regime is going to come back to terrorism. Because yes, a plot to kidnap an American citizen who's a human rights activist exposing the monster regime of Iran is terrorizing. So I'm going to leave you with this. Ladies and gentlemen, my fellow Iranians, my fellow Americans, my fellow humans, I need you to get involved. I need you to take action. We have got to save our beautiful nation before it turns into where I come from and I call motherland, the hell known as Islamic Republic of Iran. One of the easiest way you can get involved is support us and join us here at the American Truth Project. All you gotta do is either use our text alert system, text Annie, A-N-N-I, send it to 88202, you will be signed up for free, or go to our website, americantruthproject.org, sign up via email system, you'll be signed up, you get all of our materials, my videos, uh, Barry Newsbaum, founder of ATP's videos that he does every day, every, you get all of our articles, everything we have, the call to actions. And last but not least, we are a 501c3, which means we always need your donations to continue doing what we do. While you're at our website, americantruthproject.org, do consider making a 100% tax deductible donation. On that note, keep your eyes open. Follow the news with Iran deal and Iranian goons who are here to snatch American citizens simply because we are practicing our God-given freedom written in our constitution on the First Amendment. Stay safe and goodbye.